Quicksilver. 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 Yeah, I like it. Welcome to Data Center Pulse. Today's episode is on the eBay modular RFP process, round two. Last year we did Project Mercury here in Phoenix, Arizona. This year we're doing Project Quicksilver. That's taking the lessons learned inside of Phoenix and applying it to a brand new data center build in Salt Lake City, Utah. So let's talk about the scope of the project. We have a 60 acre site in Salt Lake City. The first 15 acres are used for phase one. That's our current tier four data center we finished last year. You can use any of the additional plots, they're 15 acres each, for your design approach. We're going to have 4 megawatts of critical IT load, capability day one. It's going to scale to 30 megawatts that needs to be in your design. This is going to be a design, bid, build process. And I've got Mike Lewis with me here today and he's going to explain what that means. So design, bid, build means we want to be able to give this RFP to a design firm or design firm team that is able then to take the requirements of that RFP and complete a design that we can use to then give to a general contractor who would be able to bid and complete that design. Excellent. And so Mike's written the RFP. And uh, can you tell us the requirements? We want to be able to deploy server racks that scale from 5 to 40 kilowatts. We want to be able to deploy server containers that scale from 100 kilowatts and up. We want all locations to have air and hot water cooling available. We want to be able to expand power and cooling capacity in a modular basis most cost effectively. We want the ability to select or change the tier level from tier one or concurrently maintainable tier two or three. We want free cooling year round in Utah. We want rack or MEP based UPS flexibility. We want to be able to choose that. We want 400 volt distribution to the servers and we want the entire design to be highly cost effective. More details will be available when you receive the RFP. So let's talk about the process now. People who are interested will email modular at ebay.com. We'll check their credentials, make sure that they're qualified to actually participate. Then we're going to send them the NDA. Once that's actually signed, we will send them the RFP. They can review that. They'll submit their proposal back before the RFP. We will pick and interview five finalists, and then we'll choose the winner. After that, the five finalists will be able to present to the Data Center Pulse community. So like Project Mercury, we have a very crisp but aggressive schedule. Today, August 19th, we're going to issue the RFP. October 7th, the RFP responses are due. The week of October 17th, we'll notify the finalists and start the interview process. October 27th, we'll select the winner. The month of November, we'd like to do the design kickoff meetings. Q2 of 2012, construction begins. And finally, December 21st, 2012, we expect to have commissioning complete. Why does that date sound so familiar? Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyways, we're looking forward to reviewing your proposals. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for additional episodes of Data Center Pulse. Quicksilver? We're not even done with Project Mercury yet. <laughs>